Hey viewers and whoa, whoa wait whoa what what what's this? What what's this? Is this a mantis ship that's not completely crap and full of holes and about to jump into the last stand? Why yes it is. Now, sadly this is one of the frustrating parts of being an Alpeer. For no reason I can accurately explain. When I got to this point I wanted to save and quit uh, because I've been kind of binging it and I wanted a save file and I wanted to double check my video. Well lo and behold when I quit Fraps FTL froze, and the video file I had was useless. Much to my frustration. Nonetheless, I've chosen to finish recording, or rather try recording again, and finish out this playthrough, because I want to have a Mantis ship win up there. As you can see, I've got a decent crew. Uh, some Mantis, Zoltan, a lot of engines, and a lot of well-trained crew as well. Really good fighters. This guy I picked up because he was for sale. I don't know. He can repair things, I guess, in a pinch, but max piloting, max shields, max engines, max guns. Defense drone. I really kind of wish I had one more weapon slot here, but I'm out of power, so I can't really do much with it. I even ended up upgrading my med bay and my oxygen because I had nothing else to spend it on, so when I lose this, viewers, I'm going to be very, very sad. Admiral Tully, what's this? Who are you? Why are you in a Mantis ship that isn't terrible? Well, there's this awesome ship that doesn't actually have any weaknesses, and I'm gonna go kill it for you. Have some fuel. Thank you? It's appreciated? Two fleets. Rebel Scout spots me. That's no good. Let's see. You have a lot of beams. A lot, lot of beams. I may have to cloak. When you... Nope, no, we're not to cloak. Excellent. Okay, let's see if we can get a shot. Whoa, never mind. You have a ton of shields. Yikes, you have a ton of shields. Huh. We should just leave. Doesn't seem right, though. Hey, look who I found. Some guys I can beat up. Oh, that's a cloak. Yeah, you unfortunately are not. I haven't pulled away anyone from the pilot position yet, so... I think we're in a position where I can't really hurt this guy. So as much as I would love some scrap, I think it's just time to move on. Hey, a store. Hello, store. I'm going to sell my small bomb. And I move my Hermes cannon there. Sell my heavy laser. You know the stuff I have, viewers? You know, let's just sell this hull repair. Well, I'm going to keep the hull repair. Definitely going to sell this defense drone, too, because I can't actually use it. Long range scanners are kind of pointless. Plenty of drones. I've got pretty much everything maxed out, viewers. So. I guess more engine power? More evasion? It's always good. And. Don't think we're gonna need that two levels actually for the Rebel flagship. Because. I don't think my team can actually kill one system before that happens. A drone. You cloak. How annoying. I can cloak too. Hundred eight percent evasion, swing and a miss. Eh, I'm not really interested in fighting you. Let's go fight the rebel flagship. This is it, the rebel flagship. You can actually destroy this giant freaking monstrosity. You may have a chance of surviving. Oh yes, your stupid cloak thing. 
Oh, and I didn't let my cloak recharge. That was dumb. And you guys aren't even in position. Wow, I've made two rookie mistakes already. Let's get in there and beat that down. That's what you want to save that for. A triple missile volley. I doubt they can actually knock that down before it fires another volley of missiles. But... Oh, wow. So, note to self, two max double mantis can break one of these systems before they can actually get another shot off, so... That's pretty good. That's really good. Let's go break their halberd cannon. Again, I'm so many rookie mistakes not keeping my guys where they should be. Actually, let's break the ion one. That one worries me more. strategy I want to try, viewers. Since this triple shotgun is actually probably the least of my worries in terms of what the Rebel flagship can do, I'm going to leave the crew member in there alive. Here's my thought. The auto repair system only kicks in if all the crew are dead. So leave that one poor guy by himself in a position where he can't actually get to any systems and repair them. I think I could do pretty well. this sucker up. Nothing else to do with all that power. Now, where do I start taking you apart? I think I'll start with... I'll take out the pilot, as it can charge this weapon if I'm keeping it busy. Get some more hits in. On the other hand, I'll take out their shields. I can just fire all I want. Well, that didn't work since you poked immediately after I did that. So, thanks for nothing. Serious business time? Ho ho, serious business time. Oh, I can't get out of this room either. Yikes. Now I may want to improve my uh, teleporter power. I think what we have to do is just keep the, uh, the med bay down and just slowly beat everyone to death. In there. Oh, and fire, that's lovely. Crap. Oh, yep. Good thing I put that extra firepower in there. <laughs> Literally. In this case, extra power in the teleporter. Because, man, that would have sucked.
pew pew. So now the med bay is basically useless at this point. We need to go break something else. Thinking probably the cloaker. Nothing to repair with. Or rather, yeah, you have no crew to repair with, and I wonder if you have autopilot. Probably. I should, like, have you in there beating up machinery just so you can level some. Come back. And just go heal. Plus, if the ship teleports away when he is on board, it's not nearly as much of a loss. Alright, get in there. Yeah, it's not quite the same. At all. else he is really persistent and that's something wow that fire is really spreading actually having the o2 system broken is kind of not good because my crew will die <laughs> when i board the ship everyone off the ship all right let's do this And it launches. Leave me with some scrap. Hmm. I guess I'll really improve the blast doors. And let's chase the rebel ship. Everyone's where I should be. Everyone's healed up. Alright, let's do this. Round two. Probably the worst round, actually. Okay. 
Looks not gonna recharge quite in time, but I think I might be able to save it. Yeah. Ooh. I've taken their boarding drone offline. Okay. Let's get in there and fix that hole. Actually, pilot. Yeah, we'll let you fix that slowly but surely. It is on slowly. actually going really well. The strategy of leaving the one guy alive here is actually really, really good. <laughs> have to keep it in mind for the future. Cloak. Power the Hermes, power up these two guys instead. As soon as those shields are down, we're going to do some serious damage. Actually injured. Yeah, this is by far my new preferred strategy. Keeping this guy alive in here, huge difference. Oh no, I don't want to actually shoot that guy though, because the reason is all I just said. I'm actually good enough to survive this. Fall into pieces. And somehow it's still not dead, which is fine. No, you're jumping into the store. We can't have this kind of behavior. Fortunately, I have to take on the result in shield this time. <laughs> Exactly why I've got you there. Auto fire, if you would. Good timing. Actually, let's do this for the moment here. There we go. It doesn't actually make a difference, but. Oh, that's sweet dodging. Whew. Okay, let's get in there and deal with at least one of these problems. Turn off first for now. Power up the Hermes. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh. Okay. You're my new favorite pilot ever, people Luke. That was amazing. You dodged freaking everything. Church's shield. Kind of a pain, but... Mm -hmm. 
would rather have both of those up instead. I think it's just a matter of time now, viewers. Taking those missile launcher. I can take out that thing now. Oh no, that'll be the last crew member. I can't take it out. Do you not have autopilot built in? Okay. Get in there. Take that out. No, they still have. Yeah, they must have autopilot. Okay, let's change focus then. Let's go kill this thing instead. Focus up. I choose not to die. Beating you down. Zoltan shield? No, not a Zoltan shield. Alright, let's keep you guys out of there for now. I'm gonna. This. This is gonna happen. One more point. And that's a Mantis win. The valiant effort of the Gila monster. Oh, well, good news. On that run, not only did I manage to win, but I managed to get two of the three achievements. I'm just really, really irritated that for some reason it decided not to save or rather the file became corrupted that just really really irritates me because it was a fantastic run i pretty much always had the upper hand i had really good luck the key to the drones is having a level two transporter because then you can beam your guys back before they die of asphyxiation and the other key to that of course is not losing them on enemy ship when it cloaks I actually lost two Mantis to a drone ship I was fighting in an asteroid belt because I knocked down its shields, beamed over the Mantis to do some more damage, and guess what happened? They got hit by an asteroid in the face. And unfortunately, my teleporter wasn't rank 3 at the time, and I couldn't beam them back. So, very well, my brave Mantis, whose names I've already forgotten. I'm kind of insensitive that way. I mean, considering I've done over 170 runs in this game before, so far, not, of course, all recorded, but, uh, yeah, I've done one, two, three, four runs total since I came back to the game after my long absence, and, yeah, Mantis ship, done, slug ship, done, well, now we have the variants, and... Well, a lot of people here, again, that supported the Kickstarter, so one more time, thank you to all these people, because I would be playing this game without you. And I think that's about it. So, viewers, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on, well, maybe Faster Than Light. See you then.